Hey, what's going on guys? How you doing? Um, this lesson is a quick lesson on a concept that I call the home box, okay? So basically this is useful for two reasons. Number one, if you're a beginner and you don't yet know how to solo up and down the neck within a particular key, this is actually just a simplified version of how to solo within a key. So if the band says you're in the key of A minor or B minor or E minor or whatever, this will allow you to solo within the key. Or if they say you're in the key of D major or A flat major or F major, this will also allow you to solo in a major key. So that's the one thing. The second thing is, um, for more advanced guitar players, uh, for this is useful for soloing keys that you're not familiar with. Okay, so even though everything on the guitar is the same, everything's movable, all the patterns are the same for all the keys, uh, still there's certain keys that we don't that we don't use very often and then when we do encounter those keys sometimes we tend to get lost in certain areas of the fretboard okay so this is just a reduction of being able to solo up and down the whole fretboard this is a reduction to just one little area which I call the home box okay so what the home box is is I'm sure you've seen it before it's your basic pentatonic box okay so you have So you have that basic pentatonic box. And within that is more than just the pentatonic. I'll get to that in a second. But this is useful because if the band says, okay, you're in a, we're gonna be playing this in the key of F minor, and you're not comfortable in the key of F minor, or you're a beginner and you don't know how to solo up and down the neck within the key of F minor, well, you at least know where the note F on the guitar is. So you know that there's an F right here on the 13th fret of the low E string. There's also an F down here on the low E string, okay? So you could, I'm gonna use the one up here for my example. So you could use this little area to solo in and you're always gonna be within the key of F minor, okay? So you can use your pentatonic scale. And then in addition to that, you can throw in your your extra notes to make it the full diet, the full diatonic scale. Okay, or you can go back to the pentatonic and then add in your blue note. Okay, or you can make that slight alteration to the natural minor scale, which is just the one note difference of the note right before the tonic note to make it the harmonic minor scale. Okay, so you can do all that stuff right in that little area that home box, okay? And the band says you're in the key of C minor, okay? You don't know C minor, you don't know how to do that on the neck or you're not comfortable with it, but you still know that your note C is right here on the eighth fret, okay? So that's your, that's the position for your home box, okay? Eighth fret, C. And then you can do the blues. And then you can do the natural minor. harmonic minor okay so all that's right there within that home box all right and that's in the key of C minor so you're just that's your framework for soloing okay and this also works for major keys too so the band tells you we're gonna be soloing in the key of uh, C sharp major okay well it wouldn't be called C sharp major it would actually be called D flat okay so they're gonna they're gonna say we're in the key of D flat major. So you don't know, you're not comfortable with the key of D flat, but you do know that a D flat is right here. One note less than the D. There's your D, there's your D flat. Now remember that when it's major, you use your pinky, not your first finger. Your first finger is for minor keys, your pinky is for major keys. So you put your pinky on the D flat, and then you have the same home box available. The same notes, it's all relative, okay? So you can play your major scale. Okay, you have 
your D flat major scale, or you can just reduce it to the pentatonic. Okay, or you can add in your blues stuff. Okay, so that's all your major stuff. And it's the same thing. If it's major, you start with your pinky on the note. If it's minor, you start with your first finger on the note, okay? So you can do this for any key. Any key, major or minor, major starts with your pinky, minor starts with your first finger. That gives you your location to solo within, okay? So you can now do this in any key, any of the 12 major keys, any of the 12 minor keys, okay? So that is the concept of the home box. I hope this helped. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thanks a lot. Thank mm -hmm. you.